Right, so the asset store is a really cool place where you can find um, bits and pieces for your game, such as characters. You can see here on the right hand side when we when we go in there, uh, all you have to do is Google Unity Asset Store and you can find your way in there. You can see there's animations, uh, there's scripts, there's audio clips. Uh, that you can take from the asset store but there's a couple of things you need to know before you start bringing these assets or these objects or these enhancements into your games okay so you can use them and you can recreate them and you can reform them so they can fit your vision you need an account with unity set up if you if you downloaded unity and set it up at home chances are you have that account set up already if you don't all you have to do is google unity create account and it will bring us to the unity store sign in and at that stage there, you can uh, click on a button here to sign up for an account if you don't have an account, or you can just sign straight into the Unity store there, okay? I, I'm only going to show you, um, you, you're not obliged to purchase anything when you sign up for that store as well, just to be wary of that. There's loads of free assets out there that you can use and remodel, and you can even, uh, over time, if you're building good uh, 3D objects or you remodel objects, you can put them back up there in the store and put them up there for free or even try and make a bit of money out of them uh, yourself. Okay, that's a possibility. Let's go to the asset store online and I'll pick out an asset. So for example, you can just go straight to the search box here. For example, if I wanted to look for a castle, there we go, you can see there's lots of castles here. But uh, as I scroll through it here, there's nothing for free. I can see this is all paid for and I don't have any money on me today. So I'm gonna look for maybe something else that's um, to do with my to do with my game that, that doesn't cost me any money. So I'll go under 3D modules here and I'll go into props. I'll see is there a nice prop I can have. And my fantasy game here has weapons in it. Uh, it's gonna be more of a medieval setting. So I'm just gonna click on other here and see can I find any. There we go, medieval shields and I can see that's for free. If you want to quickly see how much things cost and so on, you can you can sort, you can scroll down to the bottom here and, scroll, uh, and sort by name, price, rating. That's sorted by price, so I know the objects that are free will appear at the top, okay? If you're, if you're looking for something free. If you want to see something that's got good ratings, other users will rate and give you feedback and reviews on, on how, you, how your objects, how good your objects are as well. So I'll just scroll up to the top here and I can see my medieval shields here are for free, so I'll click on those and I'll look for a description. Let's have a look here. I'll just click on the shield there and it's loaded up. So it's a small collection of six free shields to use in your projects and included are the diffuse normal spec and occlusion textures. So the, the, the textures mean that you can actually, you should probably, if you have those textures, be able to manipulate the colors and the feel, look and feel of that. This is the package contents here. You can see the materials are there. FBX is 3D object files, okay? And there's the entire package contents. So this is what we're going to bring into our game, into our file and folder structure. So I'll just scroll up here and I'm going to click on open in Unity. It's going to take me a second. And this is where I log into the asset store and where it's important to have your, your account set up. So I'll log in, I'll keep myself logged in. You do have the option to create, a, create an account there again if you don't have an account. Okay. So that has logged in. I should be able to click on the open in Unity button now and it should pop over to the asset store in Unity here. Okay. Now, you can go from the web to the Unity or else if you want to, you can go straight in in Unity. Here, if I just go to the help file, the asset store is available in the, the Windows menu here. So if you want to, you can do this all from within Unity or else you can start out there on your browser. The choice is yours. But when you eventually choose your asset and you go to download, you'll have to operate from within Unity at that stage anyway. So it's best to have your browser and Unity open at the same time. Okay, so now I'm in the asset store inside Unity. I should be able to click on the download button and it asks me to sign on again, Ben. And it's waiting now, I'll try the download button again. And there we go, the download has started, okay. But this is where we all go off and have a cup of tea and chat about our creations and chill out for a while. Right, so now you have to, to download it, you're going to choose what to import into Unity. You can, you can leave out some of the items. You might want only one of the files, the shields that's there, for example. You, want, um, you may want to leave some of them out. So you can untick 
you can choose uh, I've chosen all of them uh, but you can untick and retick some of them so I, I've them all chosen um, and I'm going to import the import is complete so I just click into to Unity here and my project folder I should be able to have a look and see my game assets are there so that is an entire <coughs> scene in itself okay so I really all I want out of that I can open that scene if I wish okay if I double click and I'll save the changes I made to my own scene you can see here you can see here there's an entire scene with these shields there okay now I can take some of the textures if I wish out of this scene I can borrow some of the items from this scene for my own game so you should be able to browse through that the assets that are there so there's the character controller that's there um, there's the shades okay so there's the textures different shield textures these are the meshes okay so there's the various shields there that uh, you can bring into your own game so I'm just going to go back to my own scene here which is in the assets folder so that's my first scene I'll double click there I'll just go back to my own terrain and I'll see can I bring in an object into my own scene I'll go to the meshes here and I'll just drag in a shield double click on that so you can see I have a shield there now once it's in your scene you'll be manipulating it from the hierarchy view here you'll be looking at the hierarchy view and the, the inspector properties to change any properties if you want to make it bigger or smaller for example you just double click and select and I should be able to should be able to resize it shouldn't I Here we go. So I could scale that up to be a much larger item there if you wanted to. That probably doesn't make too much sense. If you wanted to make it into a satellite dish instead of a <laughs> instead of a shield. This tutorial overviewed uh, the Unity Asset Store, where you're able to go out and get assets such as 3D models, animations, uh, buildings and props, and bring them into your game in Unity. We first looked at making sure you had an account with uh, the Unity Store, so you're able to, to log on and download your items that you wish to bring into your Unity game. Then I uh, went through various methods of searching and, and sorting the data that you found on the Unity Store. Then we picked out a prop from the Unity Store, opened the item inside in Unity, and from the asset store within Unity as opposed to within the browser environment, we were able to download the uh, asset. We selected what items from the asset package we wished to process in the download. We located the assets in the folder view and the hierarchy view. And finally, we dragged the item from the folder into the scene that we're working on so that we're able to manipulate it. One.